This is my new Amiga. It looks like a normal Amiga 1200. Sorry, I don't know that. No, I wasn't talking to you, Alexa. I'm talking about an Amiga. Something in the side that this is not an original Amiga case. This is an Amiga 1200 case from a1200.net. So they've, I think they've made new cases to the original design. But let's have a look around the back. If I turn it around. On the back we have two USB 3 ports, we have a micro SD slot, we have a HDMI port, we have an Ethernet port, though it's not quite fitted very well. This is a work in progress. We have USB C, that's the power input. Around the side is a real floppy drive. Now, let's have a look on the inside. Take the top off. So the first thing is this is a real Amiga 500 keyboard. And to make it fit inside the 1200 case, I have had to slightly bend these LEDs out of the way. And I had to modify it inside the case. I had to remove... There are some posts here where you're meant to attach a board with LEDs on. And that was all in the way. I couldn't get a 1200 keyboard and even if I did, I don't quite know how I would connect it up because the only board I could find in stock for connecting a keyboard Well, the keyboard goes to this little Arduino board, which then connects to USB to the Raspberry Pi. So this whole Amiga is just a Raspberry Pi. And then to make it a bit more fun, a bit more like a real Amiga, we've got the Grease Weasel board, and that goes to a PC floppy drive. Now for now I've removed the top panel because I couldn't fit the case together with the top panel. You can cut a piece off the top panel, uh, which I'll do at some point, just to keep the dust out. And then the button on the drive, so this is a 3D printed button. And I forget where I got it, I'm going to put all the links to all the parts in the description. So there's the complete layout inside, it's not the tidiest. But I don't have a 3D printer, 3D printing was never a hobby I got into. And I couldn't find anything that would sort of let me mount all my connectors. So I bought a load of uh, fly lead connectors from Amazon and eBay. They come, they come like this, uh, StarTech ones, uh, to connect everything up. And everything's held together with these 3M sticky pads. They have a thickness to them, which is handy because these connectors, they, they're raised up enough to get over that lip in the board. And it sticks pretty strongly, that's a good, I couldn't actually remove, I'm now worried. I wanted to relocate my Raspberry Pi, but I found it stuck down so well. I'm now worried of damaging it when I remove it, so I'm just leaving it in place. A possible enhancement I have in mind is to mount this, uh, this socket here, or maybe here, next to the trapdoor. The idea of mounting that near the trapdoor would be that I could remove the trapdoor and plug another computer and use the grease wheel board from this with another computer, but at the moment I don't have wires that are the right length to connect that up. 
this ribbon cable was from the Amiga 500 accessories kit on a1200.net as was I think this Ethernet fly lead possibly some of the other cables but some of those cables were too long so I ended up getting more that were more of the right length uh, this HDMI one I think I already had it goes from mini HDMI to full size HDMI and this one just squeezes into the, ho the hole it's just exactly the right size to firmly squeeze in just see if I can put it back together one handed Just mounts in like that, and then the lid just goes on. Um, obviously, it's HDMI output. I do have a Mr. FPGA board now. One day, I might put the Mr. FPGA board in this machine instead of the Raspberry Pi. But for now, the Grease Weasel board doesn't work with the Mr. FPGA. And I really wanted the floppy drive to work. So there we have it. One finished Amiga. All the screws are done up, so things sit a bit more flush now. Just a good form factor for a computer. I really like the fact that I have the keyboard built in. Oh, I have the mouse somewhere. There we go, now the mouse is connected. It's not a real Amiga mouse, it's a modern, I think it's called a The Mouse. But it looks nice. I find it very nostalgic using this computer.